Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is: Find the amount and the compound interest on rupees two thousand at ten percent per annum for two whole one by two years compounded annually. So this is the question that I solved it. So this question we will do with the simple interest formula. So for that first year, right? for first year, our principal will be equal to rupees two thousand. So first we will find out the interest for this uh, first two years. Then uh, half more we will do later. So first year principal of uh, two thousand. The rate of interest given ten percent per annum. Time will time will be first year means one year. So now there are four right. S I for first year that means the simple interest for first year is equal to the formula S P R T by hundred. That means principal into rate into uh, Time by hundred, so it becomes two thousand into ten into one by hundred. So first you get the zeros. So remain twenty into ten, that is two hundred. So therefore, this is the interest for the first year. So now I have to write that therefore the amount, the end of the first year. So that means the amount that is standing to the credit after first year. So the formula will be principal plus S I. So principal is two thousand plus S I that is two hundred. So which will equal to rupees two hundred thousand two hundred. So therefore this is the amount of the amount at the end of the first year. So now this amount will become the principal for the second year. So now you write like this. At for second year. Principal will equal to you know, this will be the principal two thousand two hundred. Rate is equal to same that is ten percent per annum. Time will be equal to one year. So now therefore, we write S I for first year will be equal to so same formula since uh, P R T by hundred principal into rate into time by hundred. So you put the values. One by hundred. So I cut the zeros. So remains only two hundred twenty. So for this is the interest for the second year. So now similar way we have to find out the amount at the end of the second year. So for that we write amount at the end of second year so will be the same formula principal plus is same. So principal is two thousand two hundred plus SI that is two hundred twenty. So now it will become rupees two thousand four hundred twenty. So therefore this is the uh, amount at the end of the second year. Now this will become the principal for the next uh, half year. Now it a question is given two whole one by two years that means two years and six months. So now uh, this will become the principal for the uh, next six months. So for that we write for last six months principal will be equal to this two four two zero. Rate will be equal to so I write rate as ten percent only. Ten percent by now. And time, the, we are taking time as one year in the previous uh, part. So it, as it is six months, so that means six months is uh, half of a year. So time will be zero point five, zero point five years. Or you can also write like this: that for last six months, principal will be equal to rupees two four two zero. So rate will be equal to. So now rate is becoming half year, as ten percent per annum is for one year. So that means five percent per annum, that is the half of ten percent, will become the rate for six months, and time will be one year only here. As we have decreased the rate, so no need to decrease the time. So we will do our sum with the last formula, this one. So for that we write. Therefore, S I for last six months. 
is equal to same formula since P R T by 100. So it becomes 2 for 2 0 into 5 into 1 by 100. So first you cut a 0. So now I cut 5 and 10. It becomes 1 by 2. Now I cut 2 and 2 for 2. It becomes 121. So therefore, the uh, interest for the last 6 months will become 121. So now, the similar we have to find out the amount. Right, total amount is equal to same formula principal plus SI. So principal is about 2240. Sorry, 2420. So this is the principal plus the interest that is 121. So it becomes rupees 2541. So this is the in so this is the total amount. So now I write therefore compound interest is equal to is equal to the formula is amount so that the total amount minus the original principal that means the principal that is given in the question that means from the principal from which I started solving this it will become so the total amount becomes 2541 minus the original principal that is 2000 rupees so the uh, compound interest will become 2541 minus 2000 that is 541 so therefore the 2541 and 541 are the final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions